Hi, it's Dumpster Diving time again, just on the second channel, because this is not like a huge score like I got last time with that uh, touchscreen Lenovo uh, thing, which we're using it, uh, Sagan's using it at home, by the way, and we're using it as a workout thing and a, a remote uh, tele, like, conferencing thing, work teleconferencing thing, and we're also using uh, that iMac as well that we uh, found in the dumpster as well, so um, we're using that because we don't have any other Apple fruity type products. So all those things are being used and that 65 inch uh, TV and stuff like that all being used anyway I found this uh, Toshiba that well I originally didn't find this I originally uh, looked in the dumpster and here's a photo and I saw one of those small form factor PCs turns out that things only like a quad core two duo quad or whatever and it's like yeah no nah, it doesn't even have usb3 that's pretty much my standard for picking up pcs i've got enough enough of those small form factor pcs i don't need another one so yeah that wasn't worth it but underneath that i um i found this it's a toshiba satellite s40b okay it's like five plus uh years old but um, it does have a uh, USB 3 on it. It's got the Ethernet. Um, unfortunately, uh, the power adapter wasn't with it. Um, so yeah, when you're dumpster diving, always look for the uh, power adapters. But anyway, um, it's not going to set the world on fire, but it looks clean and tidy enough. It's an, yes, I have alcoholed it down. <laughs> it's an Intel um, Core i5 inside. Uh, I googled it, and apparently it's an i5-4210U with a pass mark of oh, about 2338, so 2300. So it's not going to set the world on fire, but... Nah, you know, it's okay, so we'll power it up, uh, we'll uh, bodge a power adapter for it, and uh, see if she's working, so everything looks in reasonable condition. Oh, Harman Kardon speakers, wank, wank, wank. Alright, let's give it a burl. Now, which one is the one we want? Oh, hate doing this. Well, as it turns out, my actual adapter lead that I use to plug into the back of these and go to my bench uh, power supply, this one actually seems to fit. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, let's give it a burl. Hello? No, maybe it's not the right adapter. Or maybe it's actually dead. No, I'm getting absolutely no current. No standby, not even a milliamp standby current. Nope, I'm getting absolutely diddly squat on that. I measured the uh, DC input. I'm getting like 60 meg or something. So there's like at least something there <laughs> internally. Um, so it, yeah, I tried it without the battery and uh, I don't know, take it apart. Now, of course, I normally wouldn't uh, repair something like this. It's just not worth my time, really. Um, although it would be, you know, if you're... Uh, if you're desperate enough for a laptop like this or it suits your needs or whatever but yeah i've got i got lots of laptops so it's not like i desperately need this thing but uh anyway just for academic interest we'll crack it open and see what's what never know could be like a blowing uh blowing input fuse or something like that who knows any secret squirrels under there nope and we're in like Flynn and uh, a nice heat pipe going over there from the processor over there, a little uh, fan to get that out. And there, there's a little heat sink on the other side there, on the output there. And um, the first thing I notice is that um, someone's installed a solid state drive on this thing, whereas uh, it was supposed to have come with like a 500 gig uh, regular... Sp oh. Huh? What? Oh, is there, is there a cable connecting that? What's... what? That's just flapping around in the breeze there. Well, I really don't like the design, how they've got these cables going over to the I.O. board over here. I mean, look, they could have snaked this uh, main processor board around to here like this. I know it takes up more of your panel space um, and stuff like that, so technically it's going to cost more to design it like that, but, you know, eh, at least, like, run the cables like over here or something like you know if you're going to have this as a separate assembly fine no workers about that you can you know test that uh separately and, and then you don't waste all that extra uh panel space and whatnot but geez you know i mean uh and by the way if you make your board this shaped like this it means that on your panel you can actually take this board and then rotate it around uh like this and then have a large panel like this that actually contains two of these motherboards on the one panel it's just more cost effective to get it uh, manufactured like that whereas if you had it had this uh board jutting out here like this with this big cut out for the 
hard drive, then um, yeah, it's <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do that. So you're wasting a lot more panel area. So just the bare board um, and also assembly uh, cost as well is going to cost more because uh, slightly more because uh, when you've got two uh, motherboards per panel, for example, when it's going through the pick and place machine, it can place, it's already picked up the part, so it can just place it here, place it here. You know, it doesn't have, you don't have to run a separate board through, you run effectively two boards. So you're not quite doubling your throughput, but you know, you're not doing a bad job anyway. Let's, uh, oh, oh there's the cable. I, I didn't see that. Dull, okay, <laughs> silly me. So anyway, that's actually a Samsung, wow. I can, I can reuse that. What's the date code on that? That's a Samsung 850 Pro, 512 gig. That is the biggest solid state drive that I've actually got. I mean, the biggest I've got in all my main machines is 256. In other machines like my laptops and stuff, I use a 128, which is not, this is a 512. Wow, so just from that aspect, that's a, assuming this uh, is okay, I'm gonna get that out, whack it in the main uh, PC and have a look. I wondered if they erased the data, but anyway, I can uh, I can nuke that from orbit and uh, reinstall. So I don't know how you read the date codes on these things. Where has it got a it's got a manufacturing date? Uh, Bueller, Bueller. Someone will tell me in the comments. All those PC experts will be able to tell me what the date is, please, on that uh, drive. Because you know, like if it's five years old or something that's had a hard life, then uh, obviously it's not going to be great. But uh, yeah, that's like 512 solid state pro drive. That would have cost a pretty penny. Um, I assume they didn't put it in there. Maybe they didn't put it in there when they got it. I don't know. Uh, were they like back in, because this is like a 2015 model or something like that, I think. So um, they, they still even cost a pretty penny today. So, wow, score. Okay, um, we've got uh, two memory slots in there so it's fully this thing's fully optioned up um yeah it's not a beast of a machine but anyway uh looks like there's our wi-fi module up there you know um these are is that our uh, that's our harman kardon speaker system is it yeah by the looks of it yep over there and there we have got two different size damn you got to do two different moldings they're on their rubber baby buggy bumper supports like that and uh you got two different moldings because, well, oh, look at that. It's just, you know, I could play with that all day. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you got to have two separate moldings because, well, they just couldn't fit this one, duplicate this one over here. They probably could have duplicated that one over there, couldn't they? But then, uh, I don't know, what's this over here? Oh, that's the power button. <laughs> that's your power button on the uh, front panel. So, uh, maybe that's the problem. Um, who knows? But yeah, where's our DC input? There it is, all the way up there. It's got a little cable and everything. They didn't bother uh, putting it, which is nice, because you know you could, in theory, get the or salvage it, get this as a separate assembly if you, you know, bug it up your input connector. Um, you wouldn't have to resolder. Oh, hello. Yep. There's Ernie Bernie. I think. Let me get the macro lens out. I see an Ernie Bernie mark there. Yeah, look in there. That, that's burnt right out. Wow, somebody had fun. There you go, I really had to ramp up the light there. But uh, hopefully you can see that that is all burnt. All the way down around there, that's on the negative side. So, but I don't know, what is it? Is it arced across? Is, was there some surge or something that arced that across? Hmm, anyway, is that our fuse? All right, let's have a look at the Tagano here. And uh, there we go, if you zoom out a bit. There we go, look at this, beautiful. Look at that, we can see that nicely now. Wow, yep, look at that. Big blast mark right around there. So is this an input choke? It doesn't look like a cap, because it's like they're usually not uh, gray like that. Is that an input inductor? There's a cap going down the ground. There's an input, that, that must, okay, that must be an input inductor. That's an input inductor. So, and then that looks like our polyfuse there. It's arced over like that. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is uh, that, that inductor could be buggered, surface mount inductor, so I'll just measure the continuity of that. 
and I'll just measure from, well, from this point to ground, make sure it's not uh, shorted or anything like that. I think I need one of those uh, Paul Daniels style uh, <laughs> on-screen multimeter things. Um, anyway, let's measure between there and one of our ground pins there. Two met no, it's just, yeah, it's cycling through. That's fine. Whatever it's doing, we've got all active uh, crap there. And let's measure that inductor. She's open. There you go. Well, there's your problem. So that, uh, that inductor's blown open. So, like, you wouldn't get, if there was some fault inside the PC, you wouldn't get uh, a, a big Ernie Bernie spark mark across there so um yeah i reckon it's just an input surge lightning or whatever has uh arced that over there just wasn't enough clearance there and it seems to have just arced over and of course the uh inrush currents just burn out this inductor so if we replace that haven't uh done and that cap looks okay in fact we can measure that there you go eight mic that's a 10 mic input cap that seems fine, so um, you might replace that as a matter of course, but uh, yeah, there you go. Wow, so we should be able to replace that. Not sure if I've got an exact surface mount inductor for that, but you could always just bridge it over with a link. Just put a bit of fluxity doodah on there. Here's where some SMD tweezers would come in handy. Pace actually said they'd send me their new model, but uh, there we go. Oh, where did it go? Yep, <laughs> went somewhere. There she is. So that's the little culprit. And we'll clean that up a bit. Oh, look at that. they got a nice little inductor mark under there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> there you go. So we can get in there and we can... Yeah, we'll get the isopropyl and we'll clean that up. Hey, somebody's had a go at this. There's supposed to be a screw in there. Look at that. And there's a pe alignment peg down there. There's supposed to be a screw. The next screw is not... Uh, until like way down the bottom here. Anyway, let's clean that up rather nicely. Actually, let me measure this uh, fuse here. So, yep, she's good. So it's just the inductor. The choice is bewildering. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter. We, as I said, you can replace it with a link. No wackers. But the thing about uh, inductor kits like this, you've got to find one that uh, is suitably like rated for a suitable current. What is this? Uh, I think the bottom of it, uh, I think, said 19 volts at uh, uh, 1.5 amps or something. So you need something beefy. So so maybe something beefy like that. Perhaps I don't have an exact uh, replacement, of course. I'll go check the data sheet for that. But look at those pins on that. Oh, yeah. So I've actually got a, a lot to choose from. I've got several uh, kits here. But anyway, uh, this particular one, NLC series, they're now uh, TDK ones they were uh chisillian yeah this was a uh chisillian uh design kit so this uh this 1812 series here they weren't uh good enough they weren't uh rated for high enough current but the but the, but the 2020 uh size here is um for the one micro henry so it starts uh with a 1210 but the 20 uh, 2220 size they start from one mic and go all the way up like you don't want a high value like 470 micro henry's because here's the data sheet and you'll see that uh, the higher the inductance you go, of course you get more inductory goodness, but uh, you get more Henry's, but uh, the problem is, is that um, your rated current's lower. So we'll just whack in the lowest one mic value. It's rated for 1.8 amps or something. She'll be right. No whackers. There it is. 1R0. Actually, I've come a guts of there. I think that's slightly... Oh, is it too big? It could be too big. Oh, you mongrel. Oh, you oh, oh, I'm barely doing it. Yeah, I think she just made it in there. Um, luckily, because the uh, the one the size down that I wanted, my tube was empty. Um, on all three of the ones I wanted. So <laughs> yeah, over the years, I need a better SMD inductor kit. I've got three of those kits, and you know, various ones. Yeah, meh. All right, let's probe up the clacker here and see if that gets through to there. It does. There you go. It gets through to the fuse. It gets to the other side of the fuse there. Bob's your uncle. So hopefully we can power this. Oh, actually, let me check between this other side. Uh, yeah, no, I checked this before, didn't I? This other side and uh, ground. That, yeah. So, no, that's all good. It's not shorted on the other side of that fuse or that inductor. So let's give that a burl. 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But um, you're probably screaming at me in the comments down below. It was actually 2.7, 90 volts at 2.7 amps. So that inductor is not going to do the business. But I thought I'd power it on anyway. And it's actually drawing under an amp at the moment, 900 odd milliamps. So I might have to go back in there and uh, yeah, either replace that with the link or find a better inductor. Because technically that one's not uh, rated for that. And to date and time, we're in. Toshiba setup utility. There it is. The, uh, the 512 gig is recognized, uh, 1.7 gig. It's got the core i5 4210, uh, as I suspected from Googling. It's got 8 gig of RAM. That's not too shabby. So, yeah, um, this looks like, uh, the, is the screen a bit, oh, is that a bit faded down the bottom or something? I don't know. That could just be the, uh, yeah, don't know yet. Anyway, um, the screen looks fine. The Keyboard's working. The moose is working. Wow. Fixed. Uh -huh. There you go. You can see it. It's drawing, yeah, 1.7 amps. Something like that. A little bit of dropping down to 1.4. Um, so, yeah, I probably should replace that inductor. Anyway, uh, this will get us going. So, uh, see advance. Uh, looks like Windows didn't load correctly. We'll just restart that, shall we? Of course, I'm going to nuke the uh, hard drive. I wouldn't... Uh, use it like this but 512 wow that's like seriously that's the best hard drive i got how much is that worth on its own can you sell them second when do people buy secondhand hard drives reflective hi yep windows is loading anyway um i at the moment unless it's got some more um intermittent issue um i deem this to be repaired because well seems to be working and well, yep, um, uh, no password and nobody's nuked this hard drive. Not that a password <laughs> stops as you've seen in uh, previous videos. Oh, just heard the speakers go. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll go nuke it for them. And there you go, she works. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ah, uh, yeah, 2.2 amps. Yeah, I better go in there and fix that. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, I won't bore you with the uh, details. But anyway, there you go. That's a repair of a dumpster laptop i didn't think it would be uh that easy well i expected it to work because i've had laptops before almost every one i've gotten that i've uh, taken out of the dumpster is working bloody norton oh goodness high risk <laughs> license key error oh this trackpad on this thing's a bit dodgy but anyway you know it's not the world's best laptop but anyway it, you know might be useful uh for something uh, th that hard drive definitely nuke it i wouldn't keep the 512 gig solid state drive in this geez that's a bit <laughs> that's a bit rich um yeah i'll use it for another uh much more powerful machine but yeah winner winner chicken dinner i like that but if you like that please give it a big a thumbs up and yeah check out my library channel 15,436 followers woot and as always you can comment down below or on the ev blog forum catch you next time